What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video for you today guys. As you can see, my big giant headphones are officially gone because they officially have broken. Tough, tough. Rest in peace, uh, two and a half year old headset. However, I am using my Turtle Beaches as a second option. But anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more WWE Supercard content as always. And in this video, we're going to have a different variety of stuff to talk about and updates and all that other stuff. So let's get right into it, all right? Because fuck it. So first things first I want to talk about is LMS. Now, LMS is officially done. Uh, LMS seems to have triggered a lot of people, like in somewhat including myself. LMS has finally, finally became what I kind of wanted it to be. So now that it has, I'm actually happy, but... In the process, I lost credits for doing this. So, anywho, let's just get into it. So, I got my Braun Strowman card right here, ranked 26 in the world. And stat-wise, against, you know, a regular heroic card, there is a small gap. We're talking about a fifth, about between 40, 50K in stats gap. Usually, in the past, your card won by 100,000. All right, so now it's only a 50k increase. However, that's not the only issue I found. Apparently, the more higher up you are, the less benefit you got. But the more lower you were, the more benefit you got from it. Now, I guess they were helping out the free players, the people who can't spend that much money compared to other top 100 players. And I can understand that. But holy shit, what a difference it makes. Like... I'm about to show you guys right now that's something that's going to amaze you guys. So I talked to my boy, uh, 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 Pennant. He was ranked number one in LMS, guys. He's a cool dude. Talked to him last night. Joking around and stuff. He's a cool freaking dude. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the ranked number one card, what it looks like, all right? So I'm in mirror talking. He told me he spent 120K credits, which, again, guys, is a shitload of money. But you know what? You guys do whatever you want. You do whatever y'all want with your money. It is your money at the end of the day. You guys spend it. Use it whatever you want, man. Want to buy a prostitute? Go right ahead. I don't give a shit. However, so 120K credits and the rank number one Braun. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen. And then you look at those stats. Do you see something crazy with those stats? Now, my Braun cost me 30000 in credits, roughly. Now let's compare our bronze to one another because it is really, really weird. Here's my brawn and his brawn. We are literally 6K stats apart. And some are, it's mostly 6K, about 5, 5.8, 6.2K in every stat. Think about that real quick. 6K apart in every stat. And his car cost 90,000 more credits than mine did. Which is fucking insane. It is literally insane that this would be the result. Now, as you can clearly see, the top ranks card's strengths were lowered. But then you get into the lower ranks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see maybe someone from my team. I know my, some of my teammates, they get like 100s, 200s. I hope they have finished their card. I'm not sure, but we'll still get the idea. Uh, let's say what is. Uh, I think my boy. Uh, okay, so yeah, his brawn is, I believe, almost done or close to it. And look at his brawn compared to my brawn. Now, I'm pretty sure the games are not played on this card. So, probably not the best example. But when he does play the games on this card... His car will go up another 23,000 in stats. And it should be roughly 2, 3, 4, 7, 4, 6. Which, honestly, is only better than... My card only wins by around 6K as well. Because this card is 6 or 7 ranks under my card where I finished. So, to give you the example, every rank was about a 1K difference in rank. Which means a 1,000 card that Prox could freaking beat your ass. So, there's some people out there who got top 500 for free. Trust me, it's doable. I've done it myself. It's doable. 
and their card smokes your asses. It is literally insane. So it seems like LMS has benefited the lower players by giving them higher cards, and then the higher players do still get a really good card. However, it's not high as it used to be. So, yeah, pretty much my card means absolute jack shit in terms of like, yeah, it cost me 30k credits, but someone's 2,000 credit card can easily whoop mine if the things just go their way with proc and maybe even support cards. So I found that really, really like, wow. I guess hopefully this will help people not overspend in LMS now. Now that I know that I, I could, like maybe now these cars will be more easy to get. Purple usually cost people between 20, 30K credits. This might drop in half now, knowing how bad the stats have been now for our top players. At least for a Royal Rumble tier. I'm not sure if they'll change it in WrestleMania tier or whatnot. But yeah, this is kind of insane different gap so a little rant there but for the free players that got it and the little people i guess you guys finally get a break and i'm not mad at you guys at all i think you find guys finally deserve a break now we got team roblox my favorite favorite team event not really it's actually the fucking worst now they changed the rewards here instead of us working milestones because milestones used to give you the what the leaderboard gives you which was a chance now the milestones give you the actual tbg card now looking at the event it seems to be tag team related like people who've like won like i, I i've heard someone say won the dusty classic but i don't remember uh, these I, it seems to be more tag team based because i feel like some of these guys did not win the dusty rose classic i'm just saying I remember it was like Roderick Strong was in the in the with Pete Dunn and they didn't win. They lost because he turned on Pete Dunn. So I'm pretty sure this is just tag teams from NXT that were in NXT or still are in NXT base. Obviously, it's just tag teams. But yeah, so all you need is to get 1.2 million to get Matt Riddle, which again is high. Now we don't know if the glitch is still in the game. Now, guys, let me tell you this right now. If you guys change your team deck to only one arrow, it is not cheating. It is called st strategy, strategic ways of improving your chances. If anyone calls you a cheater for that, tell them to go fuck themselves because they're fucking morons. This game's all about strategy at the end of the day, and that's how you're going to play it. Again, it's all strategy. So if anyone tells you you're a cheater, tell them to go fuck themselves and carry on with what you're doing. However, the other glitch is, I'm pretty sure, is still in this game and it's still is going to be in this mode. I'm pretty sure many people are going to abuse it. Uh, if For my advice for you guys, if you're going to abuse that glitch, abuse it just for the milestone. Don't abuse it for the leaderboard. Uh, again, the glitch is pretty much, you'll get like 50 to 100K every round if you do the glitch. Of course, I'm not going to show you how to do the glitch, but many people know how to do it already because uh, it's in other game modes as well that you can do this glitch except it just has no effect this one has has an effect so be careful uh if you're gonna abuse the glitch uh I, I don't recommend doing it like unless you're just doing it for the milestone like i guess it's not the big deal like fuck it you get your card move on with your life but for leaderboard if you do it then it's a little bit of a shit move because you, but even the rewards for top five are shit car back who cares you know, and then you also get the Vanguard Royal Rumble chance. And again, that's just shit. It sucks. But uh, we'll see uh, the teams who abuse it. That'll be kind of fun to watch. So, yeah. And then to close off the video, guys. There is an update coming out. If you guys did not see. Now, apparently, what's new? Well, I had an update this morning at 12.50. Still got to charge my phone, by the way, because I'm leaving to work soon. A new mode and event type entered into their respective rotations, starting with this app update. Oh my god, really is an update. Impress your friends. First off, my friends don't give a fuck about how much LP I got. I'm just saying, not one friend has ever told me, Ed, how much LP you got? Unless it's the start of the season, so I don't really think LP really impresses people. Anywho, impress your friends with your LP gains by lane line. Alright. The Smackdown in the all-new men's division of Elimination Chamber. Uh, what the fuck does this have to do with gaining more LP? Like, yeah, PvP does give LP, but it doesn't give a lot for Elimination Chamber. I think Elimination Chamber is a fucking joke when it comes to LP. Unless they're going to be doubling it like they did in Royal Rumble month. So, uh, yeah, I don't get that at all. It's, they probably might double it if it's Elimination Chamber month long. 
But overall, who gives a shit? Because LP is just shit, and Elimination Chamber mode is just a shit mode in general. Uh, I don't really care for it like crazy, but you gotta get your momentum slot, so that's what you gotta do. But eh, I, I didn't think the LP part was really just dumb and retarded. Uh, shitty marketing. <laughs> And then here's the kicker. Compete in a women's division version of Giants Unleashed. Imagine all those people who trained away all their female pros already. God damn, I feel bad for those motherfuckers. I probably feel bad for myself too. Because I probably don't have 16 females up, down, left, right arrows. So, yeah, it's tough call. Hopefully, it's not really bad. Because remember, stat-wise, that's how you get your points. So, this could be good and it could be fucking terrible. But uh, we'll see. And then apparently a new pack is coming called Bounty Breaker. Bounty Breaker. Who cares? Like, it's a pack. It's going to cost you money. I guarantee you, like, 99% of you don't give a shit. <laughs> it depends. It depends. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, also, I don't know what Supercar's direction is with the game. Like, LMS, you could have spent $0 to $20 and got an amazing brawn that four stats Adam Cole... Yet, yeah, we gotta pay 45k for an Adam Cole and 90k for an F1 HBK. That is fucking useless. Uh, Supercar, what are you doing? You guys gotta understand, man. Like, you're all over the place. You got people spending 90k for a car there. That's gonna be fucking useless now. You got people spending 45k. And then you got an event here that costs people probably 5k or less to freaking force that, that Adam Cole. That's 45k. It is ridiculous. I think paid players get it the worst. I don't understand. I think free players need to understand that paid players get it the worst. As much as they pay money, they get fucked for paying that money. So free players don't be mad at them because they're getting fucked either way. Don't be mad at them. But anyways, guys, that will do it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoy it. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We will see you on the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. Peace.